In this presentation, we're going to look at how to construct a matrix. Also, what we're going to do is look at the identity matrix and a couple of other similar operations. So first off, I'm going to set up a very simple matrix here. So the values I'm going to put in this one are 1, 5, and 8. And each of the values are separated there by a comma. So what that is going to give us is a row matrix there, one row by three columns. Suppose, though, I wanted a column matrix, which would be three rows with one column. The way I would do that, I would set up, I'm going to call it, set up a matrix B, and to indicate the end of a row, I'm going to use the semicolon operator there. So my values are going to be 1, 6, and 8. Let's hit return. There we have a column matrix there, uh, three rows, one column. Now, suppose I want to construct a 3x3 three three matrix. I'm going to do use both commas and semicolons together. I'm just going to use very simple values here. So, values 1 to 9. And there we have that there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Suppose I want to transpose of this matrix. Now, the transpose is arranging the row values along the columns and the column values along the rows. So, th we would do this by using the little quotation mark there. And just notice the contrast between th these values here and the row, the column values here. They're essentially, what is arranged on the rows is now arranged on the columns. That's the idea of a transpose. Now, I'm going to look at the identity matrix here. Now, the identity matrix is commonly called the I matrix. But the command we're going to use is a sort of play on words of that. So the command is I, E, Y, E. And this will construct a identity matrix based on the number of dimensions. Now, you, we only have to specify one dimension, the number of rows or the number of columns, because essentially necessarily they are equal to each other. So there we have it there. It's a diagonal matrix with one along one the value of one along the diagonal. Okay, now I'm just gonna clear the screen here for a second. I'm gonna show you two more matrices, ways of constructing matrices. Often it is very useful to construct a matrix just purely made up of the value one. So I'm gonna make a three by three matrix here and of values purely uh, one everywhere. One, one, and one. There's a very similar command, zeros, which does something very similar there. Um, it has a zero in each of the values. Now, suppose we want a, a matrix that is not a square matrix. We would type in three, the number of rows, and let's say five, the number of columns that we require. So this will give us a three-row matrix with five columns.